a new book by a Dominican friar and physician specializing in internal medicine, explores key issues of the Catholic faith and gives guidance on how Catholics can overcome temptations we face as death approaches. In the new book, The Art of Dying, Brother Columba Thomas explains, note that as soon as the sick person perceives that he is tempted against faith, he should consider first how necessary faith is, since without it, no one can be saved. And joining us now is Brother Columba Thomas to talk about the new book, Ars Moriendi, or The Art of Dying. It's a book he translated with introduction and notes. Brother Thomas is a Dominican friar and physician specializing in internal medicine and is currently studying for the priesthood. Brother Columba, welcome to the show and congratulations on this new book. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So this book, The Art of Dying, it has a significant Catholic history. Tell us about that and why we have a new translation today. Sure. So this was a text that was developed in the early 15th century, and it was because there was a great need at the time to help the Catholic faithful to prepare for death and dying. And so the purpose with this book was to reach a very general audience. There were a lot of problems with uh, bubonic plague and unexpected illnesses and deaths at that time. And so there was actually a great shortage of priests and availability of the sacraments. And so this book was basically trying to help people as much as possible to just understand the basics of the faith and what they can do to support those who are seriously ill and dying and to prepare for their own eventual death. We absolutely still need that today in 2021. You know, on this show, we discuss protecting the dignity of life. Is the art of dying about protecting our dignity of life even until those very last moments of life? And brother, can you explain what are some temptations against the faith that we might experience. Sure, so this work is very much focused on the basic Christian message, which is that Christ has overcome death, mm -hmm. and so that in faith, we can keep our eyes fixed on him and have the expectation of eternal life mm -hmm. uh, once we've uh, passed on into the next life. Um, and so basically this book uh, features a number of challenges that people may face, temptations or interior struggles that they may have to deal with as they're approaching death. And it offers really helpful, encouraging responses to that. These temptations are organized in terms of virtues and vices. So the three first temptations are against faith, hope, and charity, which are the theological virtues, and they're all about our relationship with God. And so it's a great danger, obviously, if we're tempted to resist those um, as the end approaches. And so the response is to maintain our faith in God and to hope in our salvation and to accept God's love and respond to it with love in return. That's so important. There is a spiritual battle for our soul. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep our guard up until those very last moments. And protecting life is important from womb to tomb. Brother Columba, I'd be interested, what's your response to people who do believe that euthanasia and assisted suicide, that that truly is compassionate care for people who are dying? Mm. I think that this text presents a very positive vision for approaching death and dying. It's all about the Christian message of the dignity of human life and how we can come together and support each other in a very positive way amidst very difficult struggles. Absolutely, and compassion means to suffer with, mm -hmm. and so to be there with someone who is experiencing that. I'd also be interested, you know, how can we best be there for people who are dying? Is there any kind of encouragement or any kind of message that we can give to someone who is at that stage in life? So one of the key points of advice that this text offers is the importance of the dying person to recognize a, a close family member or friend who can provide constant support. Um, and that means reminding them about the importance of the faith, making sure that they have all the resources that they need. And I'm not just talking about medical resources, mm -hmm. but prayers and meditations, visitations from priests, and uh, ac access to the sacraments as well. And so there's a lot that we can do, actually, as Christians to support each other and to support those who are struggling with serious illness to make sure that they can have all the resources that are available through the church, but also that they keep their, their eyes fixed on Christ throughout all of that. That's a reminder for all of us to always keep our eyes fixed on Christ. Thank you so much for your work, Brother Columba Thomas with The Art of Dying. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.